I'm pretty sure you guys know Ari Fletcher is on Impact ATL and she had a vulnerable moment with her dad about her dad not being in her life. I need you as a dad. You, we keep talking about money. We keep talking about child support. I'm only we keep talking that. about all the things that are unimportant to me. I don't care. <laughs> like, do you not understand it? Like, I, I do understand. Okay, all right. Um, like see you physically like we doing now. I'm strolling through Instagram and then I see a picture of you. I'm like, oh, okay, she doing all right. I'm, I don't even have to communicate with her. I'm your the people that don't know Ra Ali and Ari Fletcher do have some history. Now Ra Ali was claiming that Ari was cheating on her boyfriend Moneybag Yo and she was sleeping with G Herbo for about 9 months so that's why they don't like each other. So I'm guessing Ra decided to be messy this morning and she tweeted when you're such a low life even your daddy don't want to deal with you. He knew you were a demon from birth. Ari responded to Ra Ali and said I've been pressing OBs all my life without even applying no pressure. Ra got your address and your social. Find somebody to play with. Cause I'm feeling like a real demon right now. Ra Ali responded to say, come and get me baby. Ra Ali was then being petty by saying, I absolutely love living in Miami. One of my favorites is the Porsche building. Some good folks all around. Now you guys know Ari did recently move from ATL to Miami. Now Ra Ali also posted a video of her daughter with the winking emoji and Ari responded by saying LMFAO. People on social media of course felt like Ari was making fun of Ra Ali's daughter and one person said, I just think leave the kids out of it. Be for a lifetime, I don't care, but the kids? Ari responded to that person by saying, that went over y'all head. She trying to play like she crazy behind her kid. She know. Ari also said, B, you not a bully. That ish don't scare me. Ra, you ready to wake up out of your sleeping cold sweats again? You know I get the best of you. I control you. I'm finna be her topic for the next year and a half. You my slave, a B word. And I also forgot to mention when Ra Ali and Ari Fletcher was beefing, Ra was pregnant at the time and Ari said that she would basically get the baby out of Ra Ali. I'm trying to keep it good for YouTube. So if you know, you know. But like I said, this whole situation just came out of nowhere today. But you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on that topic. Now we're moving on to the next. Megan Thee Stallion dropped her music video for her new single Cobra and she seemingly hinted that her ex-boyfriend Partisan Fontaine was getting some sloppy toppy from another woman in their bed. Well, Partisan Fontaine and Megan Thee Stallion started dating in October of 2020 and a couple of months ago, people noticed that they wasn't following each other, that they wasn't being around each other anymore. So people started speculating that they broke up. And then it seems like Partisan Fontaine is now dating Jada Kingdom. However, Partisan Fontaine comment section on Instagram is in shambles. One user commented getting a feminist tattoo then cheating on a woman at her lowest point is wild. Another user added, is you out your damn mind? Is them braids too tight? How dare you? And this person said, how you get your dream girl then fumble like that? And this last person added, so you cheating in the crib, damn you could have just left. Now a lot of people was wondering what made Partisan Fontaine and Megan Thee Stallion go their separate ways and it seems like this was the reason. He was getting sloppy toppy in their bed. He was cheating on Megan Thee Stallion while she was going through a tough time. But you guys let me know your thoughts and opinions on both of these topics down in the comment section below. Make sure you guys like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.